The term abandoned wells is commonly used to reference wells that are not being used and are in a state of disrepair. The term illegal wells is the legal term for such wells. Illegal wells represent one of the greatest threats to groundwater in Nebraska. Groundwater normally is provided with some degree of protection by a natural filter of soil, sand, and gravel in the natural soil profile. All wells are holes that can potentially allow contaminants to flow into our groundwater supply. Illegal wells represent the greatest threat because safeguards to reduce the risk of groundwater contamination were not included in their construction or were often not maintained. To reduce or eliminate this risk, Nebraska regulations require that illegal wells be decommissioned or brought into compliance with Nebraska Department of Health and Human Services Title 178, Chapter 12, Regulations Governing Water Well Construction, Pump Installation, and Water Well Decommissioning Standards. Current decommissioning standards focus on filling and sealing the well casing with disinfected gravel to within three feet below the top of the casing, which had the top three feet cut off. The well is then sealed or capped with an upper plug. Note that the well annulus, the area between the outside of the well casing and the borehole, is not addressed. Many water wells in Nebraska penetrate a confining layer. The confining layer is an impermeable clay layer dividing the upper groundwater zone from the lower aquifer. It was thought that the confining layer and the well decommissioning process previously described protected deep wells from surface contamination. New research suggests this is not the case. This model, developed by the University of Nebraska-Lincoln and the Department of Health and Human Services, compares current well decommissioning standards to proposed revisions as a result of new information. Two well decommissioning techniques are represented here, one following current standards and one with the addition of grout in the well annulus. We will add dye to the model to represent a contamination source. Additional water will be added to represent precipitation, and we will pump an active well in close proximity to the decommissioned wells. As the well is pumped, recharged water is pulled towards the well from all directions. Notice the well that was decommissioned following current standards. Contaminants enter the well annulus and move down the annulus, past the confining layer, into the deep, confined aquifer. The deep confined aquifer is now contaminated and all other wells drawing water from the confined aquifer are at risk. As we continue to pump the active well, contaminants enter the well screen, the water is now contaminated. Notice the well that was decommissioned with the addition of grout in the annulus. Contaminants do not enter the well annulus. Contaminants do not enter the confined aquifer through this well. In summary, contaminants can enter the annulus of a decommissioned well and move down into confined water-bearing zones. Adding grout to the annulus during the decommissioning process prevents contaminant movement through the annulus to confined aquifers. Future revisions to Nebraska Department of Health and Human Services, Title 178, Chapter 12, Regulations Governing Water Well Construction, Pump Installation, and Water Well Decommissioning Standards will address this issue.